question from Carolina de Souza on the question slip. In your talk, you singled out Jesus as a very unique person. Then you emphasized how Moses and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, were mortals. Doesn't this comparison make Jesus more special? The question posed by the sister is that when I spoke about Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, in comparison, I proved that Muhammad and Moses, peace be upon him, they were mortals. Doesn't it make Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, special? Special, yes, but not God. Special, yes. He's a special messenger. Every messenger was given a speciality. A speciality. Like Moses, peace be upon him, he is called as Kalimullah, that Almighty God spoke to him. So in that way, he was special. Same way, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was special because he was born miraculously without any male intervention. Because Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born miraculously without male intervention, he was special. But that does not make him God. You know what people say? Normally, some of the Christians, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he had a mother, he had no father. So who's the father? The Almighty God. So just because he had no worldly father, if it makes him God, the reply is given in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 59. It says, Inna masala isa in the laika masala adam halaka min turab summa kala laukun fayakun that the similitude of Jesus is the same of Adam, peace be upon him. He was made from dust and said, be it was. If you say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, Almighty God, because he had no father, then Adam, peace be upon him, according to the Quran and the Bible, he had no mother and no father. So do you mean to say he's a greater God? <laughs> so it is just a miracle of Almighty God that does not mean Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God. Neither does it mean that Adam, peace be upon him, is God. Hope that answers the question. 